Now, when Grandpa was a boy, Sunday did not begin on Sunday morning, as it does now. It began on Saturday night, when the sun went down, and then everyone stopped every kind of work or play until the sun went down on Sunday night, and Sunday was over. Well, one week, Grandpa and his two brothers, James and George, were working on a new sled. Oh, it was the best sled they'd ever made. And it was so long that all three of them could sit on it, one behind the other. Now, they planned to finish it in time to slide downhill right past the front door on Saturday afternoon. Oh, for every Saturday afternoon, they had two or three hours playtime. Well, they worked at it just as fast as they could, but they did not get it finished until just as the sun went down Saturday night. After the sun went down, could they slide downhill? No. No, not even once. Oh, that would be breaking the rules. And so they put the sled away in the shed behind the house to wait until Sunday was over. All oh, the two long hours in church next day, they were thinking about what? Everybody. At home, while well, they ate a cold dinner for no cooking could be done on Sunday, they were thinking about? The sled. Now, after dinner, their father sat down to read, and James and George and Grandpa sat as still as mice, in a row, on a bench, and they studied their lessons. But they were thinking about the sled. Outside, the sun shone brightly. The snow was smooth and glittering on the road. Oh, they could see it through the window. It was the perfect day for sliding downhill. They looked at their lessons, and they thought about the sled. And it seemed that Sunday would never end. Well, after a long time, they heard a snore, and they looked up, oh, and they saw that their father was fast asleep. So, first James, then George, then who? Grandma. Got up from the bench and tiptoed out of the room through the back door. The boys took their new sled and went quietly to the top of the hill. They planned to slide down just once. And then they would put the sled away and slip back to their places on the bench before their father woke up. James sat in front on the sled, and then George, and then... Grandpa! Because he was littlest. Well, the sled started. At first, slowly, and then faster and faster, they were running, flying down the long, steep hill. Oh, but the boys dared not shout. They must slide silently past the house <laughs> without waking their father. There was no sound but the little whir of snow against the runners and the wind rushing past. Then, just as the sled was swooping toward the house, a great big pig stepped out of the woods. <laughs> he walked into the middle of the road and just stood there. Well, the sled was going so fast it couldn't be stopped. There was no time to turn it. The sled went right under the pig and picked him up. <laughs> With a squeal, he sat down on James. <laughs> And he went on squealing long and loud and shrill. Squee! Squee! They flashed by the house, the pig sitting in front, then James, then George, then Grandpa. And they saw their father standing in the doorway looking at them. Down the hill they went, the hog sitting on James, squealing all the way. At the bottom of the hill they stopped and the hog jumped off James and ran away into the woods. Still squealing. <laughs> well, the boys walked silently and solemnly up the hill. They put the sled away. They slid back to their places on the bench, and their father was reading his Bible. He looked up at them without saying a word, and then he went on reading while the boys studied their lessons. 
as a boy. 